Let's boot it up. So this is a $5 PC. Yes, $5. It's a Intel 2500K, I wanna say 2500K. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. I don't know if you can see that, but it is Corsair RAM as well. It's a good brand. It came with a GeForce 590 and a 980 Ti. We're gonna get to that in a second. We've got the Corsair 850. Did not come with a hard drive, but I have a 500 gigabyte uh, Barracuda and I have a 250 gigabyte SSD that I had lying around. Threw in my hard drives and it's working. It's an old cooler master case. You got the power, you got the power buttons up here. You got the IO ports there. You got a CD-ROM drive. I don't even think it's plugged in. It's not. <laughs> the power is plugged in. I wonder why it's not working. Okay, the CD-ROM drive does not work. Um, anyways, there it is. It's right here with a fresh boot of Windows 10. Um, just a quick little background around it. I put the hard drive in. Uh, booted up on Windows, installed the Windows updates, went ahead and I updated the BIOS on the motherboard, put the graphics card in. The graphics card was in its box. Let's go head over here. And you'll notice that when I bought this, it came with a GeForce 980 like this. And there was a big piece of blue tape on it. And it said, not working. I was like, all right. Mind you, this laptop or this computer had a little price tag on here that said five dollars and then there was two boxes of graphics cards there was the 980 ti and then there was this 590. so i grabbed the graphics cards i grabbed the computer and i was like shoot if the computer's five bucks what do they want for these graphics cards especially for one that doesn't even work and this was at an estate sale so they were getting rid of everything in the house most people there were like after jewelry and like collectible toys and stuff and i saw these computers i was like Phew. I'm grabbing these, five bucks for, this power supply is worth five bucks. <clears throat> Anyways, back to the build really quick. Uh, so I put on Windows 10, flash the BIOS, and then I put in the this graphics card and I got it to boot. First I booted on the motherboard. If those don't know, you can, uh, you can go ahead and just the motherboard. This is a pro motherboard, by the way, it's the Asus Pro. You can go ahead and just use the HDMI on the, on the motherboard there. Um, so I did that, you know, ethernet there and it worked well and uh, then I th swapped in the 590 because the 590 remember was not the box that said not working and the 590 did work fine I just had to get an adapter for it because it's DVI I needed to go HDMI so it's all running really good with the 590 I was like man if I can get that 980 Ti though this 590 to work in there even though I was like you know the likelihood of this working is not they wrote not working on the box well, guess what? It didn't work in this computer, and I'm not sure if that's because of the power supply or the PCI port, or maybe there's like a setting in the motherboard you have to do, I don't know. But my goal here was to get this computer up and running and then sell one of the graphics cards separately. And obviously I would like to sell, well, it depends on some of you out there. I already have a pretty good laptop uh, with a 3060 in it, so long story short, I couldn't get the 980 to work and I was like well it was worth the shot of getting you know getting a free I mean it looks cool you can use it as like a paperweight but I wasn't done yet I was like well you know what my brother has a bunch of test computers he's got a computer he can throw it in my brother takes it he throws it into his computer it works perfectly it works perfectly not a single thing wrong with it ran a benchmark installed the drivers no issues whatsoever so you might be wondering, okay, well, if you spent five dollars in the queue, or what'd you pay for the graphics cards? I paid like another five bucks each. It was like fifteen dollars. I ended up buying forty dollars worth of stuff from that garage sale, but I bought a bunch of other stuff as well. So, pretty cool score. Just wanted to share with you the story of you know bringing things alive. My original thought was I could take off this heatsink. The graphics cards are worth money. This power supply is worth like $50, $60. The case is in great shape. It has these huge fans on it. Look at those. What are these, like 240 millimeter? 240? 11, oh no, that's the that's how many amps it, it puts out. It doesn't even tell you, but I don't know how to measure that in meters, but we have inches over here. Eight inch fan. And there's one on uh, each side 
you got the big 120 fan right there and then you got another huge one fan right there so cool little case lots of cooling modular power supply so you still have a lot of outputs inputs and outputs over here and uh the c-rom drive does not work okay so $15 investment probably I'm probably gonna sell all this you know it'll probably end up being about three or four hundred dollars not bad now with that said though there's a lot of work being done here a lot of people don't realize that of like me troubleshooting that giving it to my brother getting it all working installing Windows takes like 45 minutes you know from installing it uh, updating it installing your drivers all that other stuff uh, it takes it takes a minute it, you know, it takes a couple hours. So it depends on what you want to pay yourself as well. You got to be thinking about that. Like you are taking time out of your day to do these things. Now, if you're like me, you like doing it, one. And then two, you also like, uh, I want to show you some of my other scores. I got some Fortnite <laughs> plushes at the store the other day. Um, but other co cool tech, tech scores I got. So this, it's like be gentle with the 980. Okay, I'll be gentle with that. So this is a Logitech G13 brand new sealed. And I saw this and I was like, ah, it's brand new, it's sealed. This guy, this is a different estate sale now, different sale, and you can see it's sealed there. And uh, evidently these are really popular with World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft. So this thing I paid like very little for, uh, you know, um, and it's going to go for over two hundred dollars, well over two hundred. I see people asking three fifty for them, brand new sealed, um, but this one should go. You know, if you get two hundred, it's pretty good use of money. So this one didn't require any work. Pretty amazing. If you're wondering what this whole video is about, you know, something I've been doing a lot of lately is thrift storing slash garage selling slash um, estate selling, and. Uh, I, I look for tech stuff, a lot of video games, things like that. So there's an old Logitech keyboard back when keyboards had a little monitor on top. How cool is that? The box is torn right here. It's messed up, but the keyboard is brand new inside. So that should earn about $50. And then this big hunk of chunk of is a Nighthawk XR700. These goes for around $300. Beefy, beefy, beefy uh, gaming. Wi-Fi router. It even has like a port in the back to run fiber directly into it. There's LED lights on the antenna here. Um, really nice box. It did not come with a power supply, so I had to buy a power supply, but I booted it up. I tested it. It works really well. Pretty cool. So I just wanted to share some of your find, some of my finds with you. What I've been up to lately. What I've been up to is getting out there and you know shopping around. Now I don't just get stuff from flips. Trust me, I get a lot of stuff. For, let me take you over here. What I've been doing lately with gaming, I've been really collecting Wii lately. If there's a Wii game I find, even if it's a lame game, like, you know, for those of you who don't know, for Wii, like a lot of game shows, a lot of dancing games, a lot of workout games, things like that, that just weren't that cool. But, you know, when it comes to like Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Super Mario Bros. Wii, I have uh, Super Smash Bros. somewhere in here. I actually don't have a case for that one. I'm still trying to track down Mario Party. Mario Party is kind of a more expensive game that you can't find. I got Monkey Ball up there, um, Punch Out, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, all the Guitar Hero games, um, Mario Kart, obviously a good one. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of trash games for this system. There's a lot of games total for the system, but it's something I'm uh, currently not selling. It's something that I want to collect more of. You even have the Wii lens cleaning kit you can see that we lens cleaning kit anyways um so for those of you everyone gets upset when i make videos like this or i always get that one comment where they're like you know drew like you know you're such a shark you know you should keep it you're raising the price for all of us i mean no i'm not it's just it's just the market go on ebay right now you know ebay dictates the market not me so um there you have it. Let me know if you like these videos. I was thinking about doing some videos where I actually have a GoPro and I go out and you could see the kind of things I find. Um, let me know if that's something of interest to you or if it's just nah. I want. I want. I just want. <laughs> I just want to know builds and, and retro games or whatever. Um, but uh, that's what I've been up to. Little score that I'd share with you. 
uh, a little bit about it. It's running beautifully. Pretty quiet too, can you hear that at all? Pretty quiet build. Um, but it was a fun one. Uh, like I said, it, it, it's time and money, and when you really break it down, it, it's really hard to make a living this way. Like, it's just a little extra side hustle, I think. However, if you get really efficient at it, like for example, when you're installing windows, you're doing other things, right? You could see the, the, once you get it to the point where it's like fetching the files and installing them, that's like a solid 20 minutes of you don't have to be there. So you could be working on another item and another item. Like you just have to become really efficient with it. But um, there you go. There's a few things. I got a lot more things. I, I'm, I have uh, like a lot of games and things like that. But um, this is it just for a little brief video of some of the cooler things I've been finding recently. Oh, and what I would say is there's a lot of times where you buy stuff that are junk. For example, I bought these, here's some junks. Like I bought these waveform Logitech uh, keyboards. Um, one has a broken dongle, but it works. It's like missing the cover. One doesn't even have a dongle at all, and it's a little dirty or whatever. I didn't pay much for these. I think I got, I actually have three of them, but one I gave to my mom. She needed a new keyboard. And um, so for $8, I'll probably be lucky to get rid of both of these for 20, probably more like 15. It's really not even worth my time to like get rid of them. So, you know, there's some things you buy and you know, you lose, right? You end up losing money and or you're better off just donating it to Goodwill or something like that. It's not worth your time selling it. So um, anyways, look at this one I found. This is a an exposure meter for, for cameras made in Germany. Kind of cool. It's missing that logo though. Should say tower right there in red. But anyways, it's fun, right? You learn about new new stuff, old stuff give the stuff new life. But anyways, that's what I think. Let me all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.